Pythons. It's a disease of, of the boa snake group, boas and pythons, where it is a disease, unfortunately, that has no cure, and it ultimately progresses to death of that animal. It's a very characteristic disease. It doesn't really look like anything else. The snakes develop neurological disorders. They don't eat very well. They begin regurgitating their food sometimes. They develop head tremors and uh, kind of twist their bodies backwards and may lay on their backs, which snakes never do normally. Three years ago, this disease affected a few snakes here at the academy. The disease has been well known among veterinarians and pet owners since the 1970s, but remains a bit of a mystery. For over 30 years, scientists have wondered, is it a viral or bacterial disease? Although the transmission is unknown, we have found that an infected animal put in with non-infected animals, those other animals will become infected as well. Through the misfortune of losing the Academy's snakes, Freeland and Shannon saw an opportunity. You know, we had a, a lot of tissue. We had the ability to share some of this infected tissue with researchers to learn more about what the disease is. Joe really had the laboratory capacity to look for something that no one had ever described before. What we do is go in, in an unbiased fashion and sequence everything that's there. Of course, the trick then is to recognize what you've sequenced. We had samples from the Cal Academy snakes, and we had tried uh, running them on our uh, microarray technology, which is a virus discovery technology that's about eight years old, but that didn't work. This meant that either inclusion body disease is not viral, or it's caused by a virus totally new to science. What we used was a new technology that has only been available for a couple of years called deep sequencing. It's a DNA sequencing technology. So in order to be able to identify the so-called needle in a haystack, we really needed to know what the complete sequence of the genome of the boa constrictor was, because that's the kind of tissue that we received from the Cal Academy of Science Steinhardt Aquarium. Complete sequencing is not a light task. But with several collaborators, Joe's lab sequenced the entire boa constrictor genome using tissues from a familiar healthy snake here at the academy, Balthazar. The complete genome sequence of Balthazar enabled us to cut through all that noise and pinpoint with laser-like focus on the causative agent, or for which we believe is the causative agent. And most of what we found was snake sequence because that's what's in a snake. But what we also found was uh, some sequences that looked similar to a type of viruses called arenaviruses. And arenaviruses are transmitted usually amongst rodents, but occasionally they spill over into humans and they cause very severe disease. This virus is not causing disease in humans and no human transmission has ever been recorded. Joe's team has a bit more work to confirm the actual virus and then more investigation with potential to benefit both snakes and humans. It opens the door for creating diagnostics and vaccines and therapeutics. The development of a diagnostic has the potential literally to save the lives of thousands of treasured snakes. Because this virus is not infectious to humans, we can use it as a research tool. We can examine the virus and its biology and how it infects cells and causes disease in cells and learn more about some of these other more severe viruses that can really harm humans that we can't work on because they're so dangerous. So it really opens up a whole new adventure.